Welcome to today's lesson. So in today's lesson, um, you're going to <clears throat> solve a question on the early decomposition using the Doolittle's method. So let's begin. Note that in our previous lesson, we were introduced to the Doolittle method and how to derive the formula for it. So the example is decompose this particular matrix here A into a product of um an upper triangular matrix and a lower triangular matrix, so by it should be L U. So here lower shall come first and upper shall come first here. Alright, so I suppose to decompose A into a product of a lower triangular matrix and an upper triangular matrix and know that we are using what? Our do little's method. So solution you realize that our A is equal to what? A product of a lower triangular matrix and upper triangular matrix, and it's our A matrix, right? 25, 5, 1, as you can see here. And using the Doolittle's method, you remember that for the diagonal elements on oh, the diagonal elements on our lower triangular matrix, each component is what one, and we have this one here, and these are zero because it's a lower triangular matrix. And for the upper triangular matrix, we have these, and we have these places being zero because upper triangular matrix. And next thing we do is that we multiply these two matrices, and when you multiply them, we end up with this particular matrix here. So this is equal to this. So when we get this, now as I said, the next thing we do is that we just make comparison. So you realize that by equality of matrices, if you two matrices are equal, when they are component, their corresponding components are equal. So that means that here, when you make comparisons, u11 is equal to 25. Very simple. u12 is equal to, so u11 is equal to 25. u12 is equal to what? 5. And u13 here is equal to 1 here. You see, we have to find how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We have to find on 9 unknown variables and right now we just found three of them so we are left with six our work is becoming easy right <laughs> all right so when it comes here when it comes here we know l21 u11 equals what 64 this equals to this and here we know that we already have u11 so we can find l21 here so l21 will be equal to 64 over u11 which is 64 over, remember u11 is 25, so over 25, and this gives us 2.56. So we found four of them, it's left what? Five, don't worry, we'll get there soon. Realize the approach is very simple. Then, when it comes to the second one, know that now we can also compare this and this, right? So it means that 144 is equal to L31 U11. So 144 is equal to L31 U11. So that means L31 is equal to 144 over U11, which is equal to 144 over U11 is what 25. So over 25, and which gives us 5.76. So you see how many we found for five now. We are left with what? Four. Yes, four. So it becomes so simple. When it comes here, then we can also compare this and this. So this is equal to this. So when you do that, that means you have um, 8 is equal to um, L21 U12 plus U22. Know that we, we got this from where? Here. here. So this is equal to this. The next thing is to find for our U22, right? Because we already have our L21 to be 2.56 and we have our U12 here to be 5. So the next thing is to find for our U22. So that means our U22 will be equal to 8 minus L21 U12, which will be 8 minus. So our L21 is for 2.56 and our U12 is 5, remember? So that means that our U22 is negative 
4.8. If you do the computation, that's what you get. So that means out of the 9, how many have you found so far? 6. So we are left with just 3. So early composition is not difficult at all. Not at all. So the next one is that this component is equal to what? This component. So, how do you mean to do it here? So that means you are going to have 1 will be equal to U13, L21 plus U23. So you have to find for U23 because you already have U13 and L21. So that means that our U23 here will be equal to 1 minus U13 L21, which will be 1 minus our U13 is what? Um, 1 here. Yeah. And our L21 is 2.56. So 2.56. And when you do this computation, of course, you end up with negative 1.56. How many so far? 7. It just left you 12. 2. And the switch is left with is how to find our L32 and our U33. So, in doing so, it's so, so simple. So that means our 12 here is equal to whatever we have here. Right? So, let me write it. Let me go down and write it. So that means that we have 12 to be equal to l31 u12 plus l32 u22 i'm supposed to find l32 so making l32 the subject we have l32 will be equal to 12 minus l31 u12 all over u22 it is very very simple so this will give us 12 minus what is our l31 <clears throat> Our L31 was found here to be, where is it, where is it, here, to be 5.76. So, 5.76 times U12. Our U12 was found to be 5. That's 5. You can see that, yeah. And our U22, we just found it to be negative 4.8. So, when you do this computation, you are going to end up with, 3.5 yes so you get 3.5 oh so out of the nine unknowns we found for eight is left with one so let's do that one and we'll be done so the ne the last one is this year is equal to what this year so let me go down and write it and you have one is equal to l31 u13 plus L32 U23 then plus U22. So we are finding for sorry U33. So we are finding for this U33. That's what we don't know. So that means that our U33 is equal to 1 minus L31 U13 minus L32 U23. So 1 minus what's our L31? Our L31 was 5.76 remember and our u13 was 1 our l32 was 3.5 and our u23 i think our u23 where did we get for our u23 so our u23 had negative 1.56 right so Let's make substitution. So negative 1.56. So when we do the computation, we are going to get U33 to be 0 0.7. So now let me write all the values we had here for you. If you remember our L31. Let me start from L21. Remember our L21 was equal to 2.56. Our L31 was equal to 5.76. And our L32 was equal to 3.5. So that means that our L matrix is what? 100. L21, which is 2.5610. And L32 was 3.5. And the L31, sorry, L31, which is 5.76, so L32, which is 3.5, and 0. 
So this becomes our lower triangular matrix. So the next thing is to find our upper triangular matrix. So remember we had our um u11 to be 25. Our u12 was equal to 5 and our u13 was equal to 1. Then you should note our u22 was negative 4.8. Our u23 was negative 1.56 and finally our u33 was 0 0.7. So that means that our u matrix is also um, 25, 5, 1. Then we have 0 here. Then we have negative 4.8. Then we have negative 1.56, 0, 0, 0 0.7. So this is our U matrix. So that means finally we can write our A. So our A has been decomposed into um, the products of L and U, where we have these matrices. So we have five here, one. 0, negative 4.8, negative 1.56, 0, 0, 0 0.7. So one check, one last trick is that when you multiply these two matrices, you are supposed to get your E, your original E in the question. If you don't get it, that means there is something wrong with your decomposition. So you have to recheck it, okay? So thank you very much. Buddha can we know? Yeah.